everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been about a week and a half since I uploaded my last video and I figured I should put something out sooner than later. Um, today, again, we're going with another, uh, we're going in another direction where I really don't have any type of script. Something that I want to focus on later on once I get into these videos and once I get more and more consistent. But again, today we're going without a script and we're just kind of going off the dome. And today I wanted to tell you guys about my two favorite books. I understand that we started this page and I introduced this page with a film photography aspect. But I did also, I did also mention that I'm really into sports, hence the intro. Um, and from the last video when I spoke on it. Uh, but we're going to kind of combine the two. We're going to stick to a little bit of film photography, but we're also going to introduce some of my interests within the sports world, specifically basketball. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's, let's get into it. <laughs> so I, uh, I actually found one of these books at Sabres. Uh, I go thrifting a lot. And uh, the first book I'm going to introduce is Bill Bradley's Values of the Game. Um, it's just, it's not necessarily an informative piece as like let's say like a book of basketball or basketball love story or basketball and other things books like that those are more informative uh, this to me is honestly more of like I don't want to call it a picture book because it's kind of childish but it really just talks about the culture and the impact of basketball and why basketball is so great you got a lot of really dope photos in here like that and of course while I'm interested in basketball, I am also very interested in photography. If you follow my Instagram all the time, you'll just see some archival photos of basketball. And it's just something that really interests me. I think it's very interesting to see the photos and see how cool the shots are and just how high res everything is. It's just really, really interesting and just, I just love it. It has some, some, so much character to it. And of course, a lot of these photos were shot on film since you know back in the day that's really all they had nobody had digital cameras in the 70s and the 80s um a little bit in the 90s but not so much in the 70s and the 80s but they really created for some really nice looking photos like some real cinematic looking photos i feel like also we i was watching a Valandis video and um we use the word cinematic a lot when we want to describe something that we really enjoy but really like these photos look cinematic and the when you read the book, it's very, very interesting. Like it talks about just enjoying the game, getting into it and how it's pretty much like a relationship that you never really look back at. And if you stay true to the game, it's just one of the greatest gifts you can ever reward yourself with. Uh, it talks about the passion, talks about like the intangibles of loving basketball. One of my favorite sections is the part about hitting the deck and it honestly, like this is looking at this, uh, thinking with a modern basketball aspect and someone who is a fan of the Celtics, this is like the Marcus Smart Bible. You got Larry Bird and Dennis Rodman diving for the ball. People, just players who will put their body on the line. Um, like I said, there's just so many things in this book about basketball and it's just so interesting. I definitely recommend you guys look it up. Bill Bradley was a uh, NBA player in the 60s and 70s. He played for the Knicks when the Knicks actually won championships and were good, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, Bill Bradley, very good player. He became a politician at, uh, after retiring from the NBA actually. I'm not too sure what his political stance is. I'm not sure if he's right wing or left wing. But that's none of my business, and that's something we're gonna, that's nothing we're gonna get into today. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you guys are looking for a nice little book, just something cool to have, like uh, in your in your office or maybe on your coffee table, kind of like a conversation piece, I definitely recommend you get Bill Bradley's Values of the Game. I got mine at Savers. I don't really know where you can find them, but I got mine for like five bucks. Really good find. Um, I recommend it. Moving forward. I would like to talk about a book I got for my birthday this year. Um, it's something that popped up just randomly in my feed on Amazon and I did a little research into it and it's really cool. And it is Sports Illustrated Slideshow. So this isn't necessarily just basketball. It is Sports Illustrated's book on all the major sports. You have NASCAR, I'm pretty sure you have golf. I think there's cheerleading and gymnastics in this too, along with football, mostly baseball, 
a lot of hockey and a little bit of basketball. Um, as you see on the cover there, you got Tiger Woods actually. A nice book about golf. So this is a bit of a newer book, but you have some classic photos like on the back. You have 1991, uh, Michael Jordan defending Magic Johnson in the finals. That's actually one of my favorite finals of all time. That's something we'll get into at another point though. Um, but yeah, this is about slide photography. If you guys haven't heard of slide photography, it is basically just like from what I understand. I'm not, I will never pretend like I'm a genius or that I know everything, especially in photography, but slide photography is really, really sharp, high resolution images. It's fine, fine, fine grain. You won't find any, like, like pretty much this is the closest thing you'll get to a digital image with photography, or film photography, in my opinion. I think that slide photos are very, very sharp, very, very high res. They include a lot of information, kind of like a raw file uh, when you shoot from a DSLR. Um, but overall, these just like these are just beautiful, beautiful photos. Um, slide. It talks about slide culture and the use for slide photography and the use for slide film. And they use it specifically here because uh, a lot of the pictures they took for. Um, Sports Illustrated were slide photos because they were putting them and they were blowing them up and putting them on a magazine or a poster. That's pretty much what slides were for. And it actually helps you break down a slide and how to read a slide image once it is after it, once it's produced and when it's ready to be printed and scanned and put into a magazine somewhere in Sports Illustrated. Um, very cool, very cool photo, uh, photo, very cool photos. It talks about a bunch of crazy, like, uh, like iconic sports moments. You got, uh, of course, uh, like I said, mentioned earlier, Tiger Woods. Really, really cool shot. I love sports photography. Um, it just feels so poetic and heroic. Um, of course, there is some points in this book that I don't like, uh, like the helmet catch. Um, I am a New England sports fan. I am a Patriots fan. And, of course, that right there is Satan. Um... So we're just going to brush by that. Uh, but of course there is a lot of other really cool photos. Like I said, it's not just like the basic sports like uh, basketball and football and all that. You have stuff like boxing. Really, really cool photo. I really like that is something that I would love to have a poster on. That is wicked awesome. Um, wicked. Yeah, my New England is coming out. Um, but again, uh, I just really enjoy this book because it's just such a cool experience just to flip through the pages and see what the process was of sports media before the digital age, before the social media age. And it's just, it's really cool. It's something that I enjoy and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, it's both photography and sports combining two of my favorite uh, interests within my life, you know. Uh, it's just, it's so cool. As someone who would love to get into sports photography and be a sports photographer and take photos for professional athletes, especially on film, um, it's just a dream come true placed within a book for me. Um, I definitely think one of the coolest parts of the book is, since, I mean, it's a bit of a bias if you ask me, um, it's the Michael Jordan section. They have like a whole two pages of it. I mean, there's more Michael Jordan later, but, uh, it really focuses on a few of Michael Jordan's finest moments in his career, especially through the eyes of Sports Illustrated. Shows the shot over Craig Elo. Yep, that's the shot over Craig Gillow in 1985. No, 84 he got drafted, it's 86, I believe. 89, it's 89 because he had the Jordan 4s. My bad, completely screwed that up. 1989, he, he hits the shot over Craig Gillow, he's got the Jordan 4s on, the Jordan 4s came out in 1989, he was drafted in 1984. Um, and he beats the, the Cleveland Cavaliers, but unfortunately in 1989 he ends up losing to the Pistons, but that's a whole nother topic. I just think that's a really cool, cool shot. While Michael Jordan didn't win a championship this year, uh, I bet for Bulls fans and for Michael Jordan's fans alike, it definitely felt like it. Um, for this image, I think this is really cool. Just the composure of the shot, the composition. I love it. Um, this is one of my favorite Michael Jordan shoots. Um, he's wearing the Air Jordan 3s in this photo. Um, they did this so it looks like he's flying, because, you know, Air Jordan. Uh, but, yeah, definitely one of my favorite shots. It shows the full image before they cropped it and put it into a... Uh, magazine cover and that's just so cool to see like what's the, what the behind the scenes is uh this it's just something that you don't know if you're not if you're not in the know you know what i'm saying um 
Really cool stuff. They show some, uh, yeah, we, we got some Yankees players, but of course we don't like the Yankees here. Um, they actually have Dale Earnhardt Sr. Um, I actually grew up in a racing household. My parents love NASCAR. They love Dale Earnhardt Sr. So it was really cool seeing some something like him in here. Um, I don't know too much about racing, but again, that's a beautiful photo. The yellows are popping in that photo. It just looks so crisp. Um, don't make fun of me. I know I have a lisp. Crisp. Crisp. I'll say it again. Crisp. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just really just, again, beautiful, beautiful shots, beautiful big images. Um, I'm probably blocking my audio out every time I put the book in front of my face. And I probably sound like I'm talking into a pillow, but you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with it until I get a better mic. But yeah, um, again, another really good conversational piece. Something to just flip through when you're bored. Uh, maybe you're waiting for something to come back on TV. Maybe you're watching a game. Um, I have a bunch of these types of books where I, when I move into my own house, these just should be sitting on my uh, coffee table. Um, or hopefully if I ever get an office, sitting in my office. But yeah, again, I recommend getting this book if you're into sports and photography. Um, not exactly too expensive. I believe it was like 15 bucks for this book and it's a hardcover book. Um, again, Sports Illustrated Slideshow. So yeah, those were my two, some of my favorite basketball books. I really do like the informative books. Right now I am reading Basketball, A Love Story. Um, I thought it was, I, I, so far I've enjoyed it. I, I read Bill Simmons' book of basketball. While at some points I felt like it was a little bit of filler and like there was some unnecessary stuff. I do really like Bill Simmons' work on that book. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today on that. But I did want to bring something else up. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of my stuff more consistently soon as we get further and further into this. I hope to be uh, a consistent YouTuber, an interesting YouTuber. Uh, this is something I never really envisioned myself doing, of course, until recently, where I finally kicked myself and said we need to do this now or never. So, yeah, um, I'm pretty much just gonna throw this out to you guys. You guys, I, I don't really know where I, where I want to go with it. For the subscribers and the viewers I have now, I'm just gonna tell you guys to tell me what you wanna see. Do you wanna see more sports related stuff or photography? I was also thinking about just creating a whole other channel just for my sports and just leave this as my photography page. Um, again, I'm into movies, I'm into um, music, sports, photography, those are my main interests. Obviously, saying that I'm into movies and sports is the most basic thing ever, but um, like, I will honestly take the time out of my day and review movies if that's something that you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Hit me down in the comments. This will be on my Instagram as well. Uh, my Instagram is at ryan.joseph with two H's at the end. That's R-Y-A-N dot J-O-S-E-P-H-H. -H. And yeah, just send me a DM. I'll probably put a poll up or a question thing where you can kind of type in what you want to see. And we'll just go from there. So thank you for watching. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.